In this video, I'm going to show you how the mesh algorithm works and how to use the average mesh density setting. Here we have three different panels showing three different mesh densities of 3, 6 and 9. All panels have the same dimensions, 6 meters for the long span, 2 meters for the short span. Now let's mesh these panels by clicking this tool, Mesh Panel Elements, and I accept by clicking Yes. Now let's focus on the first panel to show you how the mesh algorithm works. So S-Frame will take the mesh density num number and will divide it by the, long the longest span, in this case 6 meters. This will give us an, a new value, let's call it D capital, and this value has to be multiplied times the length of the longer edge, in this case 6. This will give us the number of shells in the longer edge. Now to find out the number of shells in the short span, we will need to take the that value, D capital, and multiply it times the longest span the longest span and divide it by three. This will give us the number of panels in the short span. The same will go for the other two panels. Now I'm gonna delete these shells and I'm gonna create a new mesh, an average mesh, following the same steps. So if I go to quadrilateral element tool, I can hold control and click and drag over my panels to delete them. And also going to the join tool and holding control, doing the same process to delete those nodes. I come back once again to the panel window, panel element window, and I'm going to click this option here. I'm going to toggle on to have an average for these mesh densities. Similarly, we click in this button and I confirm this by clicking yes. And the way the average meshing works is it will take the mesh density and divide it by the longest span of each panel, which we call capital D. And those capital Ds of each panel will be add them up and they're going to be divided by the number of panels. In this case, we have three. This will give me a new D capital value, which I can use with the same formulas as I showed before to calculate the number of shells in the long and the short span. 